Fire Sheriff. Three bottles of medicine. You say you bought them from that traveling medicine man this morning? I certainly did. And since he came to town yesterday with this fella Scrag, he sold dozens of bottles. Is the medicine okay, Doc? Ah, well, I, I can't really tell you. Came from Nevada, huh? So he says. Claims that folk from Buffalo to California are taking his cure. Uh, I'm worried, Tex. Folks is around him like flies around the honey. Now, folks, my name is Hyam S. Wright. And Hyam S. Always right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm telling you there's a cure for everything, including a cold in the head in one of these here bottles. Uh, ain't there, Mr. Scrag? Oh, yeah, sure thing, Mr. Wright. And it weren't so long ago, I couldn't even walk for terrible pain. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, now look at him. Never stops walking. Uh, that's why he's scraggy. Ain't it, Scrag? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he sure is funny, ain't he, Jake? Yeah, Grandpa. Kind of. A trap for this. A dose of that. Uh, hey, mister. Yes, sir. You got something to cure, rheumatics? Why, sure. Got the very thing. Well, it's worth a try, boy. Hope you're right, Grandpa. For the gentleman over there, ten cents, sir. Do you see what I mean, Tex? Yeah. Ah, uh, I would have thought that old Twink would have had more sense. Begging your pardon, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm Martha Jones, and my feet get mighty tired standing in the store all day. Rub some of this in every night. And your feet will sprout wings. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ten cents, man. No, can't you do something? This is going too far. There ain't no law here against what he's doing. I tell you, folks, I got a cure for everything. Now, rubbish. Uh, now, uh, Doc, there uh, don't rightly agree with me, uh, do you, Doc? Yeah, I, I ain't seeing. Tex, I'm getting out of here. Okay, Doc. Yes, I've got to get over to Abe Weeks' ranch. His kid ain't feeling too good. Oh, uh, Sheriff? Yeah? Anything wrong with you that wants curing? No. How about trying my new health-giving bubbly bath, Sheriff? All steaming hot. I say, that's a terribly good idea, old boy. Yeah. It is a good idea, then. Okay. What about your horse? Him, too? <laughs> sure. And for Feather Falls, for Feather Falls, there's always magic in the air. In for Feather Falls, for Feather Falls, you'll always find a vacant chair. In for Feather Falls, for Feather Falls, for every heart is kind and true. If ever you're in town, they'll never let you down. And stranger, there's a welcome for you. But anything can happen, anything at all. Why, you might hear a dog meow. And stranger than that, why, any stray cat may suddenly remark, Bow wow! Oh, for Feather Falls, I said for Feather Falls, the only place on earth to be. Cause for Feather Falls, yes, for Feather Falls, means heaven on the rains to me. Mm, for Feather Falls, for Feather Falls, Means heaven on the range to me. Heaven on the range to me. You sure sound mighty happy, Sheriff. Sure am. You still selling your medicine out there? Nope. All the folks is gone. Now you take your time. I uh I got business to do with something. Okay. Now, what do you want to see me for? How'd you like to run old Doc out of business? Eh, what are you getting at? I'll tell you. But what's it worth to me? You get your cut, okay? Now, listen. I hear Doc say he was going to Abe Weeks' ranch. Abe's kid ain't feeling too good. 
So? So? You get out there with that medicine of yours, then tell folks he cured her. You think it'll work? Well, Doc won't stand a chance against you. Thanks, partner. See you later, partner. I'm telling you, Tex, since that Mr. Wright's been telling the folks that his medicine cured Abe's kid a week ago, well, no one's been to see me. Why didn't you tell me this before, Doc? What exactly happened? Well, I told Abe's wife to keep her in bed a couple of days, you see. Did you give her some medicine? Sure I did. Then along comes this Mr. Wright with his medicine, and the little girl was up the following morning. It could have been your medicine that cured her. Well, sure it was. I could have told her to get up the following morning. But I, I just wanted to make sure. Eh, uh, folks are beginning to see that uh, I'm old-fashioned. Now, see here, Doc. Quit worrying, will you? And leave this to me. Eh, uh, well, okay, Tex. Did you ever hear tell of white medicine man, Kalamakuya? Yes, I have heard. I, Makuya, here too. Not good. White man has doctor. Only Indian has medicine man. Then you don't believe folks can be cured out of bottles those fellas sell? No. White man doctor mix medicine to cure sickness. Our medicine man, he mix magic with water from spring. Makuya, speak well. But Indian medicine man, he mix herbs with water, then speak magic. Did Makuya say he gets the water from a spring? Makuya, speak truth. Sparkling water, but place of the spring, secret to our people. Chief, where is the secret spring? I cannot tell. You trust me, don't you? I trust you. Then where is the spring? I promise never to speak what you tell me. Very well. I tell you, Textura. Well, there's your cut, like I said. Thanks, partner. Hey. Where'd you get all this water? Ain't nothing to do with you. Now you get out of here, Big Ben. Okay, as long as I get my cut, I ain't asking no questions. I said get. Well, that's that. Ain't very friendly, is he? No, and that's the last cut he's getting out of us. Since old Duck's been run out of business on account of us, we clean up the town. Sure. Then we'll get out of town. Say, looks like we'll be needing more of that spring water. Where's them colors? I hid them in the trunk. We'll get them. <laughs> it just stinks, Greg. We're kidding, folks. We're giving them medicine. And all they're drinking is colored water. I think we'd see you without it. I tell you, I don't like it. Got the feeling that someone's watching. Just as I thought. You can save yourselves the trouble of getting any of that spring water tonight. Yeah, you can't stop us. Oh, no? Just you try. What did I tell you? Shut up! Now get going, both of you. Well, well, it seems that hunch of yours was right, Tex. Yeah, I kind of figured those guys were selling colored water. Seen it happen once before in Dallas. Couldn't prove nothing, though, till I got the colors. You got them here? Yeah. I ran those fellas out of town so fast they left everything behind. How come was it you found out about Big Ben? Mr. Medicine Man Wright squealed on him to save his own skin. Was the bubbly bath phony, too? No. There was something good in them baths. Reckon they eased folks' aches and pains, so they kidded themselves it was the medicine. Eh, uh, 
I'd sure like to know what it was. Well, you can soon find out. The bathtub, everything's yours, Doc. Ah, that's mighty generous of you, Sheriff. Dixon. Come on, Doc. Take a look at your bath. Hey, Sheriff. Yeah? How long you keeping me here? Just as long as it takes you to figure out that getting easy money at Doc's expense, or anyone else's for that matter, ain't no way to live. Come on, Doc. Wait till I get out of here. Well, I'll be doggone. Rocky, how many times have I told you to stay out of that bath? Well, thanks, old boy. After two nights on the prairie, it's so frightfully good for my poor, aching legs. Oh, Tugan, Texas, of Texas, is a guy with the straightest deal. But he keeps the law with the fastest drawer and a nervous strongest deal. Oh, Tugan, Texas, of Texas, will never let you down. But play it bad and he'll get mad. So cover your tracks from Tugan, Tex, the smartest guy in town. The smartest guy in town.